Today we have the ultimate in robotic home cleaning. It's an all-in-one solution that's going to suck like a vacuum and clean like a mop and then clean itself and then dump itself into its station and then even talk to you if you need a companion. Because I've been noticing that Moe's been talking to something back here while he was setting it up. And trust me, he needs a companion badly. This is the all-in-one robotic vacuum and mopping cleaner DBOT X1 Omni by Ecovax. And honestly, it is one of the most comprehensive all-in-one solutions for cleaning the, the floor slash carpet in your premises. You have auto cleaning and emptying. It's fully automatic, multifunctional station, does everything all in one place. See, the problem is with some of these previous designs, you gotta pick the thing up, you're emptying it out, it's ugly. On this unit, it's dumping into a bag in its station, which it brings itself to, and then you're disposing of that, keeping it all clean. It's a little tray, it's a little door that opens up easily. The Omni station has auto emptying. It's also got auto washing and auto drying of the mop heads. It uses hot air. And apparently there's nothing else like this that's currently on the market. So Ecovax actually pioneered the idea of mopping inside of robotic vacuums. They called it the Osmo mopping system. Now they have dual spinning mops, plus there's carpet detection so you can avoid contamination between both different floor types. They've also got something called Ivy, which is their advanced object avoidance tech. It uses AI and 3D sensors to clean around objects, and it can even work in the dark. There's also something called True Mapping. That's LiDAR mapping tech. It makes maps of your house in 3D, and it can do so relatively quickly. It's the same tech used by NASA, so it must be good. And of course, you wanna use voice control to control your robotic vacuum slash mop, and that's where Yiko comes in. That's the first and only in the market. And I know you've been waiting for an opportunity to talk to your vacuum. So you can go ahead and just say, okay, Yiko. I'm here see the response and then I can send a series of commands including to clean around me a device will come nearby clean up a spot that I intend it to clean up and then I can go ahead and send it back to its base station as well when the job is done you can ask the dbot x1 omni to start stop change settings and clean specific areas all without taking out your phone or relying on third-party smart speakers. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, crack this box open and I'll show you what you get if you pick one of these up. This device here is a Jacob Jensen design, a fairly sturdy kind of package here. And if you're wondering about the scale, the purpose is so that you don't have to refill or empty it as frequently. So as you can see, it's got this matte black finish on the front and then around on the edges and on the top side, you have a um, sort of like a metallic silver color. Now, the other cool thing here is these little tanks. Look at how easy that is. Just like this in order to uh, empty it out or fill it up. So it actually gets sucked up by this straw and then through this section right over here. That just fits in like that. Over on this side, we have dirty water, and the cool thing here is they did the containers a different color. Same idea, boom. And it's all very neatly packed in. Like, they've made a good use of space here. Extra cleaning brush, some other mop elements there. We have three separate buttons. So I guess if you didn't want to use any type of command or pull your phone out, you could just hit these buttons here in order to interact with the device, including having it return back to the station. Look at this little drawer. This is where your dirt and grime and dust and whatnot is gonna go into this little bag over here. And you're able to chuck it out without having it enter the air, which is always what happens when you have a bin where it opens up on one side and then you're like shaking the thing out, never as clean. And then of course the ramp at the bottom, this is where the D-Bot is gonna roll up to, back to its charging station to get powered up, to get clean, to empty itself into this bin over here. All right, so included in the package, we have some extra little uh, mopping components, uh, a little bag as well. So of course, you're gonna be able to pick up more of these, keep everything clean and dispose of them. These two tiny brushes, which are installed on the D-Bot itself, 
You can see the design here, similar to and matching the canister over there. Silver on the top, all your sensors, black around the outside, AIVI 3D. So you can see the camera system on the front right there. You have these uh, somewhat grippy, rubbery tires. And then of course your pivot point over here at the front. If you take this portion off, you can still use it like a traditional robotic vacuum in the sense that you can empty it out in this fashion. Though with this one, I'm not sure why you would want to because this is gonna be a lot easier just going into the much larger canister there. Line those up, bang, bang. It looks like we can also remove this section if we need to clean out the brush for any reason. If you get some particles stuck in there. You can see my unit has been installed. You can actually have more than one unit in the same app. You can see that it's online. You can also see the current battery life. You can set for auto cleaning in one touch. You can tell it to go recharge immediately. If I click on smart cleaning, you can see that it has created a map of this room. I can see the features of the base station, including the fact that the hot air drying is currently enabled and in progress at this moment. So check this out. This is like your own little security robot capable of driving around. You can record video clips. You can use it for two-way voice calls to actually communicate with somebody back home. If you're remote and away from the house, you can send the device back to the station. You can have it patrol your home like a little sentry bot. You can also just check up on its progress to see where it's at in a, in a particular room. Maybe you have a really big space. You're just checking up. Uh, how far along it's gotten. Now, as far as voice commands, you have uh, a pretty comprehensive list, of course, accessible just by saying, OK, Eco. You can have it auto clean by saying start cleaning now, begin cleaning or clean my house, start quick mapping, vacuum the bedroom or the living room, come clean here. It'll actually look for you in the premises and clean nearby. And then, of course, don't vacuum here if for whatever reason you don't want it to be directly beside you at a given moment. You can also pause and resume return to charge or base station, whichever you prefer to say, clean the mopping pads, start the air drying process, empty out the bin. You can also check how much power is left in the unit by saying how much power is left. Battery level is 96%. Battery level is 96%. Okay, Eco. What level is the suction at? Suction power is set to standard mode. Okay, Eco. What level is the water flow at? Medium water flow. It's obviously quite an amazing time we're living in. We are now speaking directly to our vacuum assistant slash mopping assistant slash security robot slash two-way call video interface that drives around your house. It's all in one thing. It is the DBOT X1 Omni. This is Ecovac's flagship unit. Pretty much every feature they make is inside of this one thing. So if you're one of these people, that wants to have the most hands-off cleaning experience and have it just happening around you and not have to worry about a variety of surfaces and you want mopping and vacuuming in one with a little bit of uh, extra sprinkled on top, you're gonna wanna check out the DBOT X1 Omni.